Hello and welcome back to Simply Gregster EV. You join us here in St. Leonard d'Astin, Quebec. We're just off of Auto Route 20. We're dead smack in the middle of Montreal and Quebec City. And if you're familiar, this used to be the Madrid where they had the dinosaurs and those Bigfoot trucks. And also this is one of the busiest charging sites here in Quebec. So we're going to give you a site tour and we're going to see what's what. Let's go get this done. So first off to begin, this is one of the busiest sites in Quebec for EV charging. You have your circuit electric set up here. You have four times 50 kilowatts, two times power shared 100 kilowatts, uh, 200 amp, I believe. I believe these are 200 amp power split. We're pulling 66 kilowatts. The ID4 is pulling about the same. You have a version two Tesla supercharger, which has two posts down and you have 180 kilo, sorry, ABB Terra 184s pull through over there. So we're actually plugged in here, which is perfect because I want to make this film. Your amenities are over there. We'll go check that out. You have your gas station, your St. Hubert Express, your McDonald's. We've been road tripping the Model 3. We're just around 12 or 1300 kilometers now. Plugged in here, pulling 67 kilowatts, 188 amps. I don't know how accurate that is because he's pulling about 40 kilowatts. So. There's a little, quite a bit of power sharing going on here with the ID4. This site is one of the largest here in Quebec, as I've mentioned, St. Louis de Blanc Ford. The site we covered before is about 25 kilometers to the east of here, and it's a much larger site, but this was probably one of the first mega sites that they've opened up in Quebec, and it's still quite busy. So you have version two Tesla supercharger, here although they should they should hopefully upgrade it one day to version 4 i think version 4 would be awesome here or at least version 4 posts with magic docks but this is the interesting part here is you have pull through charging if you have a trailer as i mentioned highway 20 is literally right there highway 20 is there and it is minus 13 outside so i don't know how long the camera is going to last but you have your ABB Terra 184s. I wanted to plug in on that one because we'll, we'll be filming. So somebody else could use this, although that Volkswagen e-Golf should be plugged in at the 50 kilowatt, not at 180 kilowatts, but you know what, that's fine. Power, sh uh, I don't like this split power, different power level stuff, I've never liked it. It should all be 180, the Terra 184s as we already know, 300 amp nominal they'll do a 400 amp boost on these ones as they have the correct cabling they'll actually do it but it's freezing cold out here so pull through for trucks and trailers to pull through here without any issues right off the highway you pull in with your trailer you hook up your f-150 lightning your silverado ev all of that stuff so you could pull in quite a bit there's two dispensers there two dispensers here so you have you have eight you have eight handles 180 kilowatts these will do 90 kilowatts split on each side and it has the 400 amp boost for a few minutes there's a volvo c40 that's uh, charging up here once i'm done filming we'll actually move the power information is here i don't know how well you're going to see it but we've covered this before but it's 300 amp nominal maximum 400 amps super cool site here it is absolutely freezing cold but one of the busiest sites here in uh, quebec sometimes the circuit electric app is not exactly accurate with showing you what's available like this was showing us um that everything was was being used up here this nissan area has a charging cable that's been pulled over the car for whatever reason i don't know why he just didn't use the other one but i don't like that how to ruin your car in one easy step follow me for more information uh ionic 5 charging here what's this nissan area pulling actually what's the nissan pulling ccs1 this guy is not even pulling anything he's not even charging this guy's not even charging. Uh, version two Tesla supercharger, 
BZ4X just pulled in. But yeah, this is all very, very busy charging here. What is the Hyundai pulling? I'm curious to see what the power split's like. So the Golf is pulling 37 kilowatts. I don't know why he's not plugged into a, to a, to a 50 kilowatt, but whatever. I'm not going to start arguing now. I've been arguing my whole life. Ionic 5, the C40. Again, pull through, set up your one power cabinet is here. And I'm kind of just rambling on in this video, your power cabinet here. So this is the recent site upgrades to this um, to this rest area. This is all new. This is all part of um, Hydro-Quebec's massive expansion plan that's uh, going on here. We'll go up to the service area while I try to keep some heat in the camera. Again, version two Tesla supercharger. It is absolutely freezing out here. And you have your legacy circuit electric at 50 kilowatts. I believe that was one of the first ones to uh, go in many, many, many years ago here. 100 kilowatts shared. That's where we're plugged in. Laura's hanging out in the car. ID4 is about to split. But this is a uh, very, very cool site. If you're familiar with Europe and if you do follow this channel, you know we spend quite a lot of time there. This is a very, very European rest area. St. Hubert Express, because you are in uh, Quebec. You have your McDonald's, you have your Couchetar. So this site used to be the Madrid 1.0. Now it's called Madrid 2.0 because they knocked everything down and rebuilt the place up as we just passed this, uh, is this an Equinox EV? No, it's not an Equinox EV, uh, too bad. But you have a giant gas station here and my hands are absolutely freezing. I don't know why I didn't take my gloves on this site tour, but they kept, they kept the cheesy dinosaurs. If you're familiar with uh, Quebecois culture and what this place was before, you always stopped here as a kid to stop at McDonald's and get your breakfast. But they kept the uh, dinosaurs. If you see behind me the uh, dinosaur sculptures, we won't go that far. We'll go back to the uh, charging site, but super cool. It's very, very new, very European. This is uh, kind of the way that things are going here. And this is a great spot to have a big EV charger. And St. Louis de Blanc Ford's about 20 kilometers away, 20, 25 kilometers away, as I pointed out. And that's the largest charging site and busiest in Quebec. I've decided to move the car because I saw the um, Terra 184s were freed up as we, were, as we were showing you there. So we're plugged in now, 24% state of charge. We arrived here about 4% state of charge as we were plugged in on the 100 kilowatt. So we're pulling 148, 149, 25% state of charge. We'll go up to about 80%. We still have about 170 kilometers until we get back home to uh, Montreal. But again, super cool sites. I'm really uh, sorry for making this video a lot longer than it needed to be, but that's how it usually is with my uh, site tour videos. Minus 13 outside, it's really cold. But this is what happens when there's political will to build charging infrastructure. You get sites like this, especially here on Highway 20, between Montreal and Quebec on the 20 and the 40, you have charging almost every exit or every second exit, there's some sort of EV charging. It might only be 50 kilowatt, but it's, it's better than nothing. But this is the sort of nice stuff that you get when there's political will. Circuit Electric, we know, owned by the provincial government, the uh, Hydro-Quebec. And they've been really investing lately in the um, higher speed equipment, better sites, more equipment at sites, different charging, pro different equipment providers. Uh, Chem Power seems to be more out east versus here, it seems to be a lot more ABB equipment. I don't like this hodgepodge equipment. I think this site would be really cool if it had 16 Chem Power posts. You would do your uh, site load management directly at the uh, cabinet. It would be awesome. I think that I think if they could build a site like that with properly managed temp power equipment, it'd be really cool. So, what's really impressive here is the amount of turnover. I keep saying that, but the turnover is really impressive, especially in, in a place like Quebec, where there's a lot of legacy EVs. There's a lot of first gen Nissan Leafs. There's a lot of E-Golfs, Kia Niro's, Kia, Kia Soul EVs, a lot of stuff that charges slower, uh, slower. Sorry, my mouth is freezing out here. It's like minus 15. You have stuff like the BZ4X, which is just terrible in general. Although I think if you lived in town, it's not bad. 
But the infrastructure is here. Yes, a lot of it is slower, 50 kilowatts, 100 kilowatt posts, but look, it's getting upgraded behind us to higher speed stuff. But would you rather have a row of eight 50 kilowatt dispensers or nothing at all? I'd rather take the 50 kilowatt and it's reliable and you could still charge your car. That's what makes sense, especially here in the winter time where EVs do lose range, you're fighting for thermals. Then you have a lot of the legacy EVs which never had great range in thermals to, to begin with. But yeah, this is awesome. And hey, if you made it this far in the film, please think about liking and subscribing. I mean, look out here, I'm freezing. I'm freezing for, for the viewers at uh, home. So we'll get finished up here and we'll uh, take off. I think that's about it. We're charged up to 75%. Let's hit stop. We'll hit stop on the dispenser. There we go. Arrête en cours. So it's stopping for us. How much do we get? We got 25 minutes. We've been here plus a few minutes at the other one. I can't really focus. But yeah, here we go. The dispenser, sorry, the uh, contactors clicked. That means we could unplug this. Let me grab the adapter. The cable management, as I've mentioned on these Terra 184s, aren't uh, that great. But yeah, that's about it. We're all good here. Well, that's it. We're all charged up here at uh, Madrid 2.0. Thank you for watching, and I hope we managed to bring you some insightful content on uh, one of the busiest EV charging sites here in Quebec. We'll see you in the next film. Bye for now.